would you like a couple little tips on how to make your corners a little better and a little stronger? Stay tuned. Fab Tip Friday, Stronger, Prettier, Grinded Welds, Episode 2. Warning, flashing lights occur during this video. Please use caution. The content and techniques you see in this video are performed by professionals. We ask that you do not attempt or attempt at your own risk. Thank you. What's going on, everybody? Ladies and gentlemen, we are back today, Thursday, the 18th of July 2024 and we got a little fab tip Friday now these are table legs for like a wood live veg wood tabletop and it's gonna go like that piece of wood on top on top something like that I don't know these are kind of small legs but this is for good customer Don and we built a bunch of them but uh tip is blending how to blend your metal like this for your corners and everything now a lot of your work goes into the prep so if you're going to be grinding down all the corners after you weld it instead of leaving it welded and you're going to grind it down how to make it strong because if you do not bevel this it's going to be weak and it could potentially crack and not good so that's that yeah if you don't bevel it but if you want to leave it bevel is still good anyway but then if you want to leave it leave the weld it's not as important but it's still good to do it Sergio's making a little noise over there but uh prep work is your key thing that one's already finished and I finished most of this but I left the weld somewhere so you want to bevel so these ones like when I butt them up I got a bevel in there nice little bevel it doesn't have to be super big but big that way when you grind it down after if you grind your weld down you've got all that material in there almost full penetration of weld in there so that way you got material still left over to make it strong so that's good and then uh over here the corners that's another big thing i learned this from uh jason becker i think his name is arc junkies podcast guy i learned that from one of his weld.com videos that for the corners if you don't bevel this so say you'd have like a good fit up like that and you put a weld on it after you grind it you're basically just grinding the weld down there's barely any material left and it'll eventually start cracking where this if you take a if I tack them all together fit it all up I don't weld it all but I'll fit it all up and it's all tacked and then after it's all tacked I'll take a flapper wheel and I'll just grind a nice flat like that it doesn't got to be super big but a little flat like that helps a lot that way you it sinks down a little you put your weld up then you grind the weld down like this if I grind this weld down I'll have nice beefy material like good penetration and a little extra weld material in there that way when I grind it down there's still weld in there now one thing is you don't want to grind too much depending on what the applications for this hasn't got to be super structural if you grind too much it's a little harder to bevel afterwards or not bevel grind down and make it like super pretty and perfectly accurate where if you just do a little one like this it's a lot easier and I got like probably like a sixteenth worth of uh, weld material in there so that's one little tip for you guys and then same thing with this after I beveled that down or beveled it welded it like that I ground it down and we got nice full penetration in there some beefy weld in there now the only thing I don't grind down on these either is the inside but you can grind the inside down he just likes the way it is and it's a lot harder but if you wanted to grind that inside down a little carbide burr would probably work for that one of these carbide burrs all this work I do with a flapper wheel so nice and easy one more other tip is prep work like this is all carbon steel mild steel whatever you want to call it and I TIG weld it but I 
grind that mill scale back like an inch, inch and a half or so, all the way around, and it welds ten times better. Where if you barely grind it down, or if you ground down like a quarter of an inch, it welds ten times better. So that's another tip. Just prep work is like ninety percent of the work, and then after that, it'll get you good welds and good results. Tip, and then there's a couple other little tips I could show you if you want to see if you're interested or not. But uh, I make a box like this, and I make sure all my lines, because this is seam, seamed tubing, square tube or rectangle tubing. I make sure all the lines like this are going the straight, right, right way, because you could mix match them, and one will be right here, and then one would be over here. It depends on what type of tubing you got and everything. That's just another little tip to make it a little more better because these things, they're hard to get off the seam. Even if you sand it, it takes a lot of sanding or grinding to get that. And paint doesn't really cover that up. Uh, powder coat might, but paint doesn't. So it's another little tip. It just a little detail like that makes it look a little better. And we're pretty good. I just weld it all first, like I, I tack everything, get it all tacked up, and then I'll weld it. And then another tip is like this, I do the pulser. I pulse weld on the corners where I had one of them, this one's a lot hotter. It gets a lot hotter when you don't pulse weld it, where this just seems like when I pulse weld it, it's just like boom, boom, boom. I lay that wire right in there and boom right over top of it and I get a lot nicer weld just seems that's like one tip that I use you don't need to do it at all though like this was perfectly fine a little hot but I'm just not used to doing it as much so that's a little tip too and then one more tip when you're welding it you'll figure this out though but say I'm welding this weld right here and I'm ending right there if you end too hot and you don't like taper down or you don't like move over when you're ending that arc especially if it's scratch start um, you'll get a little dot, a little crater hole. I kind of filled them up on this and I make sure I don't do that. I had one, I went over it before. Uh, but you'll get a little crater hole and if you leave that when you go to grind it down, you'll have that crater hole in there and it's going to go all the way through pretty much most of the time. And the only way to get rid of that is fit, either weld it back up or you could taper down like that, but sometimes I'll end the arc. So I'll be welding like this, end the arc. I'll have that little crater. And I, you could just fuse right over top or go over top and add like a dab of wire if you want. But that's one thing to keep a lookout for because otherwise you'll be back and forth to the welder, grinder, welder, grinder. That happened to me a lot at first in the beginning. Just something I learned. A smooth corners nice and beveled so we're strong so we should be pretty good so those are a couple tips for you guys on blending corners and everything so not sure if you'll like it or not but hopefully you do hopefully it's a little informative I guess you could call it but uh I have another video already out it's not as good and I got one more coming out with some table legs like this I got one out I think already like this and a different style one that I videoed I just didn't edit it yet so we'll see there might be a little more informative tips in that one so if you care to watch it stay tuned for that and I guess we'll see you guys on the next one Chris Wynarski over and out thanks for watching for my machine pulser seconds, I got pulse time on uh, 43%, 33% amps, and 1.2 pulses a second. So that's all that. And I got it set about 200, 250 amps, somewhere around there. In a couple seconds, you could see that fan to the right of me blow the shielding gas away from me and cause a little ruckus. Now, uh, well this with a little thicker wire 332nd my little bevels no pulse on this though uh, 
Now I got my inside to do. I use 1 16th wire for that. Pretty simple, not much to it. We got it nice and ground. Inside's ground, outside. Flats, not too shabby. Good enough for that. All right. Nice smooth corners. Nice and beveled, so we're strong. So, we should be pretty good. Thank you for watching. Feel free to like, dislike, comment, and subscribe. Check out my Instagram where I post more often at Chris Wynarski. See you on the next one.